Welcome to the Cecil College Library. This short tutorial will teach users how to use Google in a more scholarly way by utilizing the Advanced Search tool. Google Advanced Search is good for more involved searches or for searching for current events and reliable online sources. Google no longer lists its advanced search on the home page, so we have to do a simple search first. For this example, I'm going to search for Mao Asada. To get to the advanced search, click on the icon that looks like a gear. It is located in the top right corner. Choose Advanced Search from the menu to open the advanced search feature. As I describe the different options, I'll type in the corresponding aspects of my sample search. All these words acts as the general Google search box that you're used to. You'll see that Google has automatically populated this box with my original search terms. This exact word or phrase puts quotation marks around our words to tell Google to search for that exact phrase and not the words individually. Here I'm going to add World Figure Skating Championships. Any of these words is handy for searching for an idea when you don't know what term the resulting articles might use. By putting in synonyms, Google will find articles that discuss any of these relevant terms. None of these words will exclude the terms you enter. Therefore, if you don't want any articles mentioning speed skating, putting that word in this box will ensure that none of the results include the word speed. Choosing English as the language can be helpful in some cases, though most of the time you'll get all English results anyway. Region is helpful when looking for primary sources for international events. For instance, changing the region to Japan will search for news articles originating from that country. Last update can be important when looking for current events. You can change this option to past month, past week, or past 24 hours to get the most up-to-date information on your topic. Site or domain is especially handy for finding reliable online sources. Putting in, for example, .gov will ensure that you only see results from government institutions' websites. Government and educational institutions, those indicated by .edu, are usually more reliable than the typical .com websites. You can even search within a specific website here, such as cecil.edu or isu.org, which will then give you only results from that specific web page. Now that I've filled in all of the options I want, let's click on Search. Notice on the results page that the limiters are listed across the top. We could, for example, change it from searching everything on the web to just looking for news articles. We had chosen past month on the original search screen, but in this menu, we can change the time to get the very latest information. This concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact the Cecil College Library by phone at 410-287-1005, send a text message beginning with Cecil to 66746, or send an email to library at cecil.edu.